And Shelled Fans, Turtle Club, and everybody in between. It is I, Mag, Synchro, and Clarence. If you guys aren't familiar with Clarence the Convertible Turtle, he is on my head at the moment. And he is actually a Christmas gift that I got from Dig Rat. Um, we are going to be streaming a game that I had picked up a while back on Steam. I mean, good, good God almighty. Oh, uh, two years ago on Steam? Two and a half years ago on Steam? Something like that. Um, I was, so Randall's Monday. And Clarence, as cool as you are, man, we are going to take you off and set you down. He is a stuffed armadillo. How awesome is that, guys? How awesome is that? And he's he's fairly flexible for an armadillo toy. Um, but that is Clarence the Convertible Turtle, for those that are curious. So this, uh, this game's downloading at the moment, and it's updating and doing all sorts of things. So we're going to be uh, without some content. Hey, Slacky Mew. I know, right? I mean, look at that. Look at that. And yeah, we can adjust that so I, I'm not like... I, I was trying to get them all in the shot, which required a lot of stuff. Good morning, good morning. So, yeah, this is Clarence. Digrat found him for me for Christmas. I do not know where he's going to wind up going in the home eventually, but I, I figure like he ha needs some screen time finally. But yeah, so the game that we're gonna be playing is called Randall's Monday. Now, it is taking its time to download. I. I don't know what's going on, on with the internet. The download seems to be the issue. The upload's fine. I blame it on the internet provider like usual, and, and we hope they get their stuff in order. Um, says that it's got another, well, it said three minutes, and now it's saying ten minutes. So you can never tell with these downloads from Steam especially. But so this game is basically Groundhog Day. Uh, the game's on loop, you do things in a day, it'll reset, you do things on another day, again it'll reset, and it uses Randall as the main character. Now, Randall from Clark's fame, from uh, Jay and Silent Bob fame, is who this game is based around. And that character, he's, uh, he's not PG, he is not... Um, family friendly. Let me just make my face a little bigger for now, I guess. Ah, in the middle on the floating head. But, uh, yeah, it, like, yeah, guys, like 20 minutes ago, I said this game was going to take seven minutes to fully update. I hadn't even realized I deleted it off my Steam, off my computer, but I had changed hard drives a while back, and some computers just had, some computer space had to be made. Uh, we just reset me there. But, so, it is a little off the cuff, a little, like I said, kind of raunchy. Once we once we get the game started, I, I only played, like, the first five minutes last time. Uh, my Valentine's weekend. Hey, yes. Um, so, Digrat and I, we, you know, we don't go out to do anything. We don't order in either because we know that people are, like, just hammered on Valentine's Day. What we wound up doing is we wound up curling up and watching some TV together and having a, a nice home-cooked meal. And there's a show that Dig Red had never watched. Now, yesterday we streamed Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. There is a TV show based upon that same world called Kindred the Embrace. Now, it's a really bad TV show. As, as far as TV shows go, it's an Aaron Spelling show, so that should give you an idea of where you're going to begin with. It's an early Aaron Spelling show. So that should give you a, a, a better idea of where it's going with it. And it's nowhere near the quality of like 90210, Melrose Place, uh, Charmed, any of those other Aaron Spelling shows that people will automatically think, oh, it's an Aaron Spelling show. This was bad. And the, the source, you know, you saw what Vampire Masquerade was like. The source is the same. The acting's atrocious. It's really campy and cheesy. And it's right in the wheelhouse of what me and Dig Rat like to watch. She had never seen it. Uh, she was a fan of True Blood. She is a fan of similar shows to that. So we wound up queuing that up and watching like the first, oh, four hours of the show. And it's it's like seven hours long for the whole entire season. The first episode's like a, a big, huge, long episode, though. So it was pretty cool. Um, this weekend, we plan to go out and eat. 
Uh, we we you know we usually don't go the the weekend of. We don't go the, the weekend right after if it's close to the weekend. So this weekend we're actually going to go out. Um, it, it was it was a nice time. We had a, a good time doing it, Slacky. Um, we we uh, we we enjoyed it. It looks like the the census were about a, a two minutes away from game time, guys. So I'm I'm waiting for this to start, and I am so sorry about this timing because sometimes it happens. You know, real life it occurs while we're making other plans. And speaking of other plans, Clarence, I know you want to stay on the mouse, but you're gonna have to go over with my with my Nintendo Switch case for a little while. Stay. All right. Good Clarence. But yeah, it was a great time. We, we enjoyed ourselves. Um, we didn't get stressed out. We did a gift exchange. I got her a tripod for her cell phone. She's been experimenting with doing videos and stuff on it. And I got her, a, you know, a nice little card. And she... Well, she got me... The complete box set of Avatar, which, you know, one of my uh, probably top ten animes of all time. True fact, as much as I love watching anime, Turtle Club, I have very little of it inside the home. And it's because, number one, most of the stuff I watch is the day of it comes out. I have a pretty good memory. Uh, which books? Um, this was the... This is not a... The, this is all three books, Book of Fire, Earth, and Water. Well, Book of Water, Earth, and Fire. But yeah, books one, two, and three. The, the whole series, it doesn't have The Legend of Korra, which is the sequel. But yeah, it's the complete actual series. So I was cool with that. Hey, it says it's ready to play, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and fire this up, guys. Oh yeah, it was real nice. So we got some audio happening. Let me... Cue that up, and boom. There we go. There's the game, guys. All right, so we're going to get into this. Dottalic Entertainment. This is the part of the stream you guys usually don't see, is we're like, I'm waiting for the game to boot up and stuff. Randall's Monday. And again, guys, this is on the adult channel, so be ready for this. So we're going to go with the old school controls. Check it out, guys. New game. All sorts of stuff. Controls. Options. Kind of nice little menu system here. And this is a point and click. Uh... Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. And that, okay, I was trying to adjust the audio. Sociopathic kleptomaniac, good for nothing moron. That's pretty much Randall's character from the View Askew universe. He never comes out of his room. I haven't seen him for like six months. I don't even remember what his face looked like. <laughs> he doesn't even come out to go to the bathroom? Well, I'd imagine that's what all the fucking people are up to. Ah, I bet he's dead. Who is this Ralph? So we can skip the dialogue, but the dialogue's pretty funny. If 
you've ever let's see here tried to summon Freddie Mercury's drunk ghost grandmother's dentures on eBay Carl load of nuns directions to a lesbian bar so we'll uh Freddie Mercury because Queen's awesome of a Matic 9000. And it's in neither. Guy in the background blowing his nose. Yeah. I don't know if we want to hear this. So, the story is kind of a little slow to... It's a pretty basic ring, kind of like what I got. Wow. Who is the one true ring? Pretty amazing ring. Pretty respectable groom. It's as precious. Oh, last round. Five rounds later, wow. Garbage everywhere as far as the eye can see. And it's not a problem though, she is literally starting to sink. I'm afraid something will have happened if I go near this door. <laughs> this is the roommate again. Don't worry about it, honey. That place is dead. 
so they're they're pretty uh, shit faced guys. Oh uh, wow. Uh, I think I drink enough. There's a limit. This is not drinking responsibly. Because they are... Feel bad for guys just because they're the ones who search to clean. Yeah, yeah. You was the one who asked and it was scary. Um, you know, it, it's... I don't think the concept of marriage is exactly the, the scary part, right? It's the rejection that people really... Fear. Oh, yep, he, he puked. Yeah, um, boom. I can use some fresh pukey air. <laughs> Basically skipping some of the... Oh, so now we have, like, control now. Awesome. So we can go to the door. Well, what? Power up. What, what the hell? All right. So we... Can we do anything here? Other than explore? Father Roy. Oh, wait. Right-click. Oh, we have to right-click on things. Okay. But yeah, I think it's just the fear rejection is really the scary part, and I think anybody has that. Alright, so that's eating it. The spread gun, okay. So anything else we can do that doesn't involve like talking to people? Oh, here's a picture. Can I take it? Alright, so not taking it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so the prologue. Trying to rush us off, of course. So let's just go out. Here we go. Self-control. I mean, dudes drink way too much. Valuable lesson. Ah, this we gotta hear. Oh. Poor homeless person. Oh, absolutely! It'll it'll kill your liver. It'll it'll cause. Wow. Yeah, that that's way too much. His last name's Griffin. He's possibly related to Peter. That's weird. It, a Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, 
stay where you are. No talking to strangers. No altering the space time continuum? The hell? And that's that's why you shouldn't drink, guys, because you wind up being really dumb. You dropped your wallet in front of a klepto. So that's the prologue. So. Yeah, so if you've ever seen the actual Clerks 2 show, you know exactly what that was uh, an allusion to. We'll just leave it at that. A box full of junk and too much free time. Here we go. Posters. All right. So what do we got? We got an arcade machine. Yeah. Can we? Can we take it? No. Nah. Or that funny. Okay. So box full of junk. we take it all right so all of it is a box full of junk let's see anything else alarm clock I like how you basically walked all the way over there yeah <laughs> ain't that the truth all right so basically all we got to do is leave all right Room. What else we got here? Shelves. Poster. Remote. Can we take the remote? Can we be spiteful and grab it? Yep, we have a remote control now. Sweet. Take us a broom. You never know when you'll need a broom, right? Shelves. Anything on the shelves? But nothing useful. All right, and anything else that I might be missing? The window. Okay, nifty. Hey, we got a whole entire kitchen. You can tell he's a single dude. Single dudes have like the worst kept apartments. Um, Digret would attest to that by all accounts. Somebody better clean it up. It ain't gonna be him. It, oh, it's Mortimer's job. That's the roommate. Oh, there's more to experience. Okay, and... Wow. Alright, so... We can look at the newspaper. Alright. Monday, the Sunday Times... On Monday. Wow. That's some quality newspaper right there, guys. She's a job. She's a career. She's a family. She's a fucking big television. Wow. Okay. Mortimer's room. Yeah. 
What if something attacks me? Okay. Uh, Randall's bathroom. All right, let's go to the bathroom. There might be something good here. A duck hanger. Yeah, it's a freaking awesome little duck. Take the hanger. Anything else around here that might be useful? The toilet? So maybe we can do something with the toilet later. I don't see anything else useful here, maybe? I mean, that's the one thing about this game, right? Is you gotta see what you gotta grab, and then you gotta grab it. All right, so... And you have to get close by, wow. We're... Always lock your Wi-Fi network, guys. Oh no. Whoever you are, I just want you to know I have my father's gun. Oh. Fudge factory, oh lord. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty, I mean, you know, the apartment you can blame on them. You know, like, they're not taking care of it. They're, they're two slackers. But this shit right here, nah, nah. Three months rent. Nah, that's not good. <laughs> oh wow. Three weeks. Wow. Mr. Marconi, I have a problem. You were born with it. No, I wasn't. The thing is, my job's been getting me down lately. I'm being told, you know? There are always tons of huh. Customers. <laughs> oh, it's awesome! A little throwback to clerks. Wow. Let's see here. That's the room this is working until I find my way. <laughs> oh my god! Are you gonna buy me my first car? Hey, Daddy. You can't just get the shit. You have to be able to keep it. Thank you, Mr. Marconi. You're like the father I always wanted. This year I'll make you a special car for Father's Day. With macaroni and glitter. Wow. Wow. The what? That's perfect tenant as long as they pay you rent, right? Wow. 
The game's really wordy. I'm. All right. Wow. All right. Looks like a man with chest hair and boxer shorts. Three months is a lot. Most places would totally evict you at this point. Alright, let's see here. Mortimer, did you slip your half of the wrench under the door? Oh, you forgot boxer shorts with hearts on them. Yeah, yeah, with hearts on them, yes. Gotta remember the hearts. Two growls mean yes. It just made me want to break down your door and stomp on your head. So I'm talking to a werewolf. Three growls now? Dude, we said two means yes, one means no. But three? What's that all about? Okay, Mortimer. Yeah, yeah. Popping vein on his forehead. Wow. All right, so we can't go out because he's clearly there. Alright, so we can't go that way. Um, Reynolds Room. Fire Escape. There we go. The hell is that? Alright, so what can we do here? We can go down the fire escape. Can't go up, so let's try going down. That's making that noise? It's a kitten! Looks like Mrs. Grover 
to find my adventure really thrilling. He's not even blinking. Wow. Hello, Mr. Grozer. How's it going? How's Mr. Grozer doing? Is his hip any better? I'm truly sorry about the roller skate incident. Wow. I've known that pushing him down the stairs was not a good idea. I normally tell people it was Mortimer. Mr. Grozer, may I come in? I need to get down to the street, but I can't get through my door. Can you hear me? God damn it, are you desperate for stuff? All right. Um But it's tuna. Okay. So it doesn't speak half human. Oh, we can hit it with the broom, maybe? Okay. Oh, maybe I can hit the hook. Oh, with just this, so we can combine stuff possibly then. All right, so duck hanger and that. All right, now extendable ducky hammer. There we go, and the cat's gone. Cursed. Cursed. Oh man, was that you in my ear all night? I had a hell of a night because of you. Of course, now you think I ate that three-year-old jar of mayonnaise. Where will I get down there? Wow. That does it. No one, no one curses Randall. Here comes Randall. A berserker. Oh, what what just happened? All right. Hi to Mr. Grozer. So this has the same issue that the Minecraft game had. If my cursor gets off screen a little bit, it clicks off. So, trash can. Hey, a dried out tube of glue. All right. Fire pot, take it. But we could use the stuff to. Ah. Uh, anything useful there? Collapse fire escape. Okay. Alright. There's the bomb. Water source if we needed it. A dog. Barkley. Uh, he looks like the Taco Bell dog. All right, so very railroady. I this game definitely has us wanting to do certain things, but that's a stereotypical bum. Hmm. Dirty and drinking from a brown paper bag. <laughs> you know, I've been very polite. Of your nighttime screaming. I take care of mistakes. The cat 
Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely in a, a great situation. Um, uh, scary door. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Some interesting shower thoughts there. Summary. If you're a bum, I'm cursed. Yeah. Hey, it's a plot device. Alright, so I've done everything I think I can do here. Um, I haven't looked at the collapse. Yeah, alright. So we can leave. Alright. We got... So we can go into the alley. We can look at the trash can. Interesting. All right, so can we talk to the stranger? Hello. All right. So can we? We have several trash cans. So video store. Okay, then. What's wrong, buddy? You look pretty, like pretty bum. Very character and avatar, and which is your favorite season? Oh wow! Um, I really like the Book of Earth, so season two and and tough is like pretty awesome. I mean, someone who's more stubborn than metal, right? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. 
Now I know what a door is. I want to use the door. Uh, oh, we can use the subway. Okay. And, and just the way the Earth Kingdom is built is just pretty cool, in my opinion. Trash can. What's in the trash can? Anything? There's plenty of interesting stuff there. All right. Do not enter. Okay. Let's. Stranger. Hey. Can we take anything from Stranger? No. Map. Look at the map. Pass. What's this about a pass? All right. All right, so we can't jump the ticket, which is just as well. Uh, oh, a ticket machine. Here we go. Okay. Oh, here we come. Here we are. Just for emergencies, it says. Okay. Hmm. Top's your second favorite. Zuko? Yeah, Suko's pretty cool. Uh, Granddad's awesome, too. Or not Granddad, but Uncle is awesome. Lady. Talk to Lady. I don't have a wallet. All I have is Matt's wallet. I guess I should do that for a few things. Alright, new newspaper. Oh, we can just look at it. Okay. Alright, so... Stay on the line. She's using the Game Boy for hold music. Oh lord, that that's pretty ingenious. So clearly she's going to be more than a match of a, oh wait, what's this? Um, Alright, oh wait, wait a second, can I, let's go to the earpiece, knock it off. And while she's getting it, jump. A better diversion than that? I thought that was pretty good. 
Um, intercom. <laughs> oh well now all right so we, we definitely can use this to distract her a bit Wow. All right. Emergency railway help line. What is your emergency? Uh, let's try the nice one, I guess. Goodbye. All right. So. So we got one more option that we've not tried yet. Emergency railway help line. What is your emergency? Has anyone ever told you you look just like the kid from the Little Mermaid? No, but it's good to know. Sayonara. Huh. So let's do this then. So let's go ahead and go to your piece. Let's knock it off. And intercom push. All right. So we kind of got something going on. Hmm. How can we do this, lady? Talk to her. Alright. Okay, so what's in her inventory then? Um, oh, have we tried the door over here? No, the door's not there. Okay. Um, razor blade. No. Nope. Razor blade newspaper. No. Nope. Huh. Nothing there. So maybe we can combine something. So I don't think anything happens there. We can save our game real quick. Save. Boom. I right, go back. Uh, back to continue. Okay. So, hmm. I'm, I'm... I'm with Randall. I want to see what's really there. Uh, ducky pole, maybe? No way. The expendable duck is for serious business only. Okay. The mother of all portable consoles. So I, I, I'm pretty sure, oh wait, maybe I can, maybe I can jam the phone? All right, 
do that. Yeah, that would mess it all up. That's kind of the important part. I'm not sure, guys, what we're supposed to do at this point. Um, we know we can make a call. Let's try another call. Uh, maybe there's another dialogue box that I hadn't seen yet. Because we just did those four. So maybe there's a, a new one now. So, clearly there's something that we could do here. No. This doesn't involve that. Can we take her puzzle book, maybe? Like, if we, this is, this is the, that's a possibility. She may not be attached to the puzzle book when we do this. Nope. So, oh, calendar. And huh. Interesting. So I guess we so I'm just trying to combine stuff at this point, guys. All right, so maybe we got to go back and talk to her again. What do you say? Things can get ugly. Okay. All right. So, cell phone. So, there's got to be something I'm missing here. So I know I can knock the earpiece off. Maybe while that's going on, I can go in the door? No. Now the line's busy, so there's got to be something comboed with that, though. Uh... I'm still confused, guys, at this point. Well, at this point, there's, like, nothing we can really do. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's got to be something... I don't remember another phone number. Okay. Uh, let's let's get the dog a piece of sandwich. All right. So no Hitchhikers of the Galaxy reference there then. Uh. I hit system. Wow. Wow, there there's 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 a whole entire Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Every time you unlock a clue, a kitty dies. Okay. I, I... Wow. All right. So that, that the hint system is kind of funny. Um, oh wait, pigeons. Okay. All right. So, how about Dunder Mifflin? So there's gotta be something down in here we're missing, guys. We're about to call it quits. But maybe. Oh, wait a second. Can we, like, jam the intercom? It's not that. Let's 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 okay. So knock the earpiece off. Spray the tune on there. That's not that either. Okay. Well. So we don't want to unlock the next 10. I, I really want to beat this without having to get the next 10 out. Maybe the batteries will come in handy later. Hey, there was batteries. Hello. All right, so maybe... I'm not going to beat you. You want me to... Talk to a duck. Uh, So maybe these batteries can be done something over here. Since now we have batteries that we didn't have before. I think this stuff runs on batteries. Okay. I think this stuff runs. No. So it's like something has to be done with these, right? Well, I was hoping that one of these things would combine since we just figured out the batteries part. But it looks like I mean, there's something to do with the trash can too also. Ah, man. Okay. So we know it's a console, we can't take it. Can we swap the batteries in it? Oh, come on, the console, the, the portable game console clearly runs on batteries. All right, how? I'm sure we're gonna get the doesn't run on batteries message here. Yeah. Okay, well, lady, you're besting me right now.
So we know if we hit it, it gets knocked off. She winds up leaning down. This door's not open, though. we got to figure out a way to get this door open, too. I am... It is... So the money, at least... Uh, maybe we can bribe this chick for her pass? She... Right? To the nuns. Okay. So maybe... Maybe the razor blade? No? Okay. She's doing the same thing. Maybe talking to it gives us a different option. No. So I'm pretty sure we've touched everything here. So, maybe I can use the razor blade? I was going to cut her bag open, maybe? I really don't know. I mean, the first puzzle is kind of difficult, but, you know, we combine some stuff. Um... I don't really want to kill a kitten. I feel like it has something to do with uh, the earpiece, though. And I don't know of anything else we can really do. If we had, like, something to set the trash on fire, that would work, too. Like, you know, you just burn it, and she'd run out, maybe. I really feel like the earpiece is something to do with it. But there's, like, nothing we can really, I mean... We must have missed something. Um, that's all I can figure. So let's go all the way back. We can't go back into our home, but there's got to be something that we, we missed someplace. Well, he does say something different there. Let's let's grab. So he says something different. Let's try this. 
trash can. Wire with the trash can. Newspaper with the trash can. I find it mostly logical, Randall. That's the problem. This is the only thing. Because these don't give us anything, but this keeps saying something about a tube of glue. All the other trash cans see something different, though. Oh, there. Look at that, guys. Tube of glue. All right. So that's something. That's something. Okay. So I bet we can do this then. Knock the earpiece off. Get the tube and put it on the telephone. Hey, we cut the cap off. All right. No kittens died to do this. All right, so we know. Oh, here's your piece. Knock the earpiece off. Aha! Bet you that's what we had to do, guys. Now we call. Take our marker. Right. And now we can hop the turnstile. Oh. But. Well, guys, we got past the first two challenges. Um, so, day one, ride the subway to escape Murray's office. So, we're here. So, now we can go ahead and... Oh, here we... Hey, it filled it in! Oh, 
Oh, that's neat. That's exactly everything we did except for not in the same order. Um, but yeah, that's cool. All right, so we're going to save the game, guys. We're going to call it here. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday is the day that I do not stream. So we will see you all on the other channel Friday morning for Mag vs. Wild and Friday morning afterward for Twilight Biscuits while we go po hunting. And, of course, we have Free For All Friday, which is coming up. But, guys, this has been pretty cool. I really appreciate you all here. And we are... Uh, we're going to be calling it quits, going to bed. We're going to have a good night. You all have a good morning, a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club. And, and Shield fans, this is Magazine Chris saying, have a good one. And thanks for watching. Take care.